Half Wheels coverage of the 2018 Pro Cigar Festival is sponsored by La Aurora. Hello, it's Charlie Monado from Halfwheel.com. I am back here in Dallas, Texas at our office. I'm back from the 2018 Pro Cigar Festival, which was held last week in the Dominican Republic. I had hoped to shoot more videos while there, but unfortunately the hotel internet speed wasn't so conducive to uploading those videos. So this video was originally going to be four different videos, unbagging and unboxing the various cigar packs and bags that you are given at the Pro Cigar Festival. But instead, I had to wait to get back here in Dallas, Texas to shoot this video. Um, and so it's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, this is sort of full circle for me. Uh, the way that I was introduced to the Pro Cigar Festival was actually by David Diaz of Stogie Fresh. I was watching a video of his where he was detailing his humidors. And I remember seeing he had Pro Cigar boxes and there were exclusive cigars that were given out at Pro Cigar that he had gotten. And I remember then researching Pro Cigar and and looking at it and figuring out what it was all about and learning more about the organization as well as the festival that they host each February. So without anything else, let's get to uh, what was given out at this year's festival. So the first thing that you get, regardless of where you check in, is a black bag like this. In it is a variety of things, um, including cigars. Uh, we'll get to the non-cigar stuff first. So um, there is a travel pouch here from Inner Tobacco, which is the German-based uh, tobacco festival that's held each September. So this includes an eye shade, a blow up neck pillow type device, and um, there's also some ear plugs or ear buds in there. So uh, next up, uh, the only thing I really used out of this bag during the festival, the Pro Cigar Guide, which importantly tells you when you need to be downstairs so that you don't get left behind. Then there is the Pro Cigar name tag that everyone gets, which I once again did not wear. Um, here is the annual Pro Cigar ashtray. Uh, there's ashtrays they give out every year. Um, they're typically pretty, uh, very pretty, and many of them are here on display at the office. So this one is made by a company called Casimo Bell. And as you can see, hopefully it's got uh, the Pro Cigar Festival logo down here. Uh, obviously a wooden ashtray oddly sort of smells like the Los Arcos Hotel in Esteli, Nicaragua. Don't know what that's about, but that's what it smells like. So this is the box of cigars. I'm going to get to that in a second once I sort of clear everything else. This is another box of cigars, which I will also get to in a second. A pro cigar hat that's given out each year. Somewhere down here. The Pro Cigar uh, Polo Shirt, which also is given out each year. They do change them, so it's not like it's the same one, but you always get a polo shirt and a hat. A HF Barcelona Jelly Bag, which I guess I could put my head in if I really wanted to. A smaller Boveda Bag with a Boveda included in it. Both companies are sponsors of the festival. A coupon for a two-for-one subscription to Cigar Journal a coupon for $300 Dominican pesos at one of the casinos, an HF Barcelona jelly, and then there are three magazines at the very bottom of this bag. So we've got uh, Cigars and Leisure, Tobacconist, and Cigar Ambassador. So uh, that's what was given out to everyone. You also got a Cigar Snob magazine, which was supposed to be in the bag, but due to issues in Dominican customs, had to be given out sort of by hand. So those were delivered to your hotel room. So that's the bag. Uh, next up, we will deal with this. So this is one of four boxes, or four or five if we count that box, uh, that's given out. Um, uh, every single person that is registered to, to attend Pro Cigar Festival, uh, the events, not just the dinners, is given one of these. It includes one cigar from each of the members of Pro Cigar, and I'm going to try to go through them for the third time now. We'll see if we can get this right with the lighting. So this box is special, not just because it's round, but also because it includes accessories. So uh, inside they have a Zycar XI Pro Cigar Festival Edition cutter. I feel like I work for Stogie Fresh at the moment, or Stogie Review, sorry. Um, so it looks like that. I can do one of these things. It's 2008. And then uh, you also got a Zycar Pro Cigar lighter. Um, this one doesn't have fuel in it, but there was fuel available throughout the festival to refill them, and I saw plenty of people using the lighter and cutter. So, as for the cigars, uh, I'm going to start here, and we'll see how far I can get before I have to look here. So, that's a La Florida Minicano Lenox. That's an Arturo Fuente Decino El Siglo. That's going to be the first one to throw me off. I believe it's an EP Rio 
it is. It is a EP Carrillo Selection Oscuro Bellicoso. The next cigar, um, which would be this one, is the Manolo Quesada 70th Anniversario from Quesada. That's a La Flor Dominicana 80, or sorry, a La Aurora 80, and not a La Flor Dominicana. The next cigar is a Davidoff Anniversario number three, and that's the 702 version, so it's got the Ecuadorian wrapper. Next up is a Saga, but I can't tell you which one. It's a golden age from Saga. The next cigar is a Vega Fina, Seven Añejados, or something along those lines. That's the cigar that finished in the top 10 of our top 25 list last year. Um, and it's from Tobacco de Garcia, which is the factory that makes cigars for Altadas in the Dominican Republic. Next up is a cigar from PDR, and that's the one I can't pronounce, the El Criollito. I'm gonna say that was better than most people. There's a Macanudo Cafe right there, and then the final cigar is a La Galera, and I believe that's a Maduro, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so those are the cigars that come in this round, circular, very inefficient box, and it looked a lot nicer than what you saw, but these had to get checked, and things happen on airplanes. So, uh, normally Pro Cigar does a press conference, uh, but I think the members more so than the media wanted to get rid of the press conference, so they decided this year to give out something that looks like this. It includes four cigars, because they had cigars at the press conference, and a uh, USB drive with the press release on it, and that was done in lieu of the press conference. Uh, so those are the four cigars in there. One of them in particular is of note, uh, that is this one right here. It's the Don Carlos, the man from Arturo Fuente. It was a cigar that was sold at uh, Fuente Mania at Holtz last year, but otherwise is a not for sale cigar. Um, Carlito Fuente told me that it uses uh, some tobacco from the Chateau de la Fuente farms in the filler and then sort of put some emojis in there that lead me to believe uh, that that's all he's going to tell me. So I don't know if everyone got the man, but the important part is that I did. Um, and so I'm looking forward to smoking that at some point soon. Next up is this box. So this is what was given out at the dinner on Wednesday night. Uh, at each of the three dinners, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Pro Cigar gives out a particular box. They're all made by different companies. This one is made by Zanswill, um, and they all contain like that circular box from Fried Egg. They all contain one cigar from each of the manufacturers. So this one comes with a Bovida, as uh, does uh, at least this box and the other one. I don't think the final night one came with a Bovida. Um, and this one also has a sheet which explains some of the cigars that are in here, which is helpful because uh, many of these cigars are exclusive. So um, first up, we've got the Partagas uh, Siri X. Hopefully they, no one from Fuente is watching this because the last time that someone put Siri X on a cigar band, they were sued. Uh, I don't believe that cigar has been sold um, on the market. Uh, according to this, it's got a Honduran OSA wrapper, a Hamasteran binder, which would also be from Honduras, and that would be the end of the blend description. Next up is a Davidoff Year of the Snake. That's the 2012 limited edition. There's an Arturo Fuente Double Chateau Fuente Rosado uh, in a six and three quarter by 50 size. There's this La Galera uh, Gaviero Perfecto, which is a very bizarre size. It's six and three quarters by 48, but much thinner, obviously, um, on everywhere other than the exact center of the cigar. Uh, Gurkha Ghost, that's, that's the cigar from uh, PDR in this particular night. PDR makes a lot of cigars for Gurkha. Gurkha had two representatives at the festival. Um, it's a nice looking Perfecto with uh, obviously different uh, color or different wrapper types uh, on the top and bottom of the cigar. Next is a little Florida Minicana Factory Press, uh, which is the latest in the Factory Press series. Then there's the Casado Limited Edition 2018, which is described as a special blend from Manuel Casada's private vault of tobacco is exclusively done for Pro Cigar Festival 2018, medium full strength with tobaccos from various countries. So that's not helpful. Next up is another uh, new cigar. It's the Laura Ors de Age, which um, we don't really know much about other than it was debuting here at Pro Cigar. Uh, the company says that the cigars were aged for two years and it says that um, there's a total of 12 years invested in the product before it reaches a consumer. So perhaps the tobacco is 10 years old. I don't really know. Uh, the scar next to that is a Vega Fina Grand Reserva 20 Anniversario. That also appears to be something that's new. Um, and that cigar has tobacco that may age for at least five years. Uh, next to that is the De Los Reyes Saga Short Tails, 
Uh, number six, the sixth element, El Tobacco. Tailus Reyes has used Pro Cigar in the past to show off its new releases. The Short Tail series obviously is the one that comes in the books or the book looking packaging um, that was on our packaging awards a couple years ago. And then finally, there's the EP Creo Core Plus Natural Encantos in the 5x50 Robusto size. So that's night number one. And if you notice down here, you can see that there's a number on here. Um, so Pro Cigar has a coat check or a tobacco box check where you can drop your boxes off um, and then pick them up at the end of the night. That way you're not having to carry them around and you don't have to worry about them getting stolen, which unfortunately was a problem in years past. Thursday night is the white party and uh, this is the box that was given out the white party. It obviously is quite white. It is a cardboard box, so it does have a little bit of texture down here on the monument side and it is obviously made to look like marble. And I think from a distance maybe kind of looks like it. It's not as um, shiny as the lights would imply. And so it does sort of look like marble, even if you're holding it and you can totally feel that it's cardboard. So when you open it up, uh, you get something along the lines of this. And uh, there are more exclusive cigars in here. So uh, starting off on this side is the EP Carrillo uh, New Wave Reserva. Um, that's obviously the Connecticut wrapper one, although this is a very dark wrapper for whatever that is. Um, then there's the Casada Reserva Pravada Barber Pole. Unfortunately, not the Corona Gorda. That was the size that won our cigar of the year uh, this past year. There's a Macanudo Gold Label, a Monte Cristo Artisan Series, I believe small batch number one, series batch number one. A La Aurora uh, Preferito from the Double Barrel Age line, which is the newest Preferito, I guess, well, newest until the Orge Dodge thing, Preferito line. Um, this is an interesting cigar. Um, this line is obviously not new from PDR, but this double Perfecto size is something that's new. I love um, Perfectos when they're on, um, and I'm curious to try that one. Next up is a La Galera 1936 box press, a La Flor Dominicana Reserva Especial, a Davidoff the Master Selection 2013, Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Eye of the Shark, and finally, a Saga Short Tales number three. So that's uh, the box for the White Knight. Um, and this one was done by International Packaging, which I believe is based in the Dominican Republic. Um, so, there's that box. And here is the box from the final night. The biggest of the bunch. So this is for the Gala Night, and this box was done by Vrydeg, which is the same company that also did the Circular Box, and also if, uh, is the company that has done a lot of the most famous cigar bands in history. Uh, Opus X, they do a lot of stuff for Habanos. Um, if you need the best band that money can buy and you're willing to spend the money, then you go to Rite Egg because um, they, they will gladly take your money and do a good job. Um, so uh, these unfortunately are somewhat tougher to see because uh, these individual coffins, there's nothing on them that says what they are and the cigars are sort of obscured some of the bands and I don't feel like taking them all out of cardboard on video. So, we have an EP Creo New Wave Reserva Connecticut, uh, a Monte Cristo Artisan Series, um, I don't know which one, a Nat Sherman 1930, I believe a Lonsdale size, and that would be the entry from Quesada. Michael Orglatz was once again uh, in Santiago to do the auction as he does every year. This is a Saga, uh, I believe it's Vault Edition 2, which is something that I have never heard of. There is a Macanudo Inspirado Black. Um, there's a Arturo Fuente Don Carlos with some sort of a Dicion band. It doesn't appear to be the man unless there's like a foot band on it. So I don't know exactly what that is. There's a La Aurora a Cameroon Preferitos, a La Galera, um, a Davidoff Year of the Dog, which is the latest from the Zodiac series, a La Flor Dominicana La Avocado, which is the latest uh, cigar from La Flor Dominicana. And then finally there is a uh, Flores y Rodriguez Connecticut River Valley Reserve, which is the cigars that come in the jars. So that is the final uh, night's box from Pro Cigar this year. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you're on Half Wheel, you're probably reading this within the conclusion post. So that means that, yes, we are done covering Pro Cigar Festival 2018. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can click below and get a link. We have daily coverage from Pro Cigar Festival uh, that started uh, over a week ago, um, covering exactly what I did during my time in the Dominican Republic. Uh, if you are looking for coverage from Cuba, Brooks is down there right now covering the Festival del Habano. I don't know how much video we'll get, um, but there already is posts, there already are posts on the site uh, from Cuba, and he will continue to post throughout the week. 
Uh, for more information about cigars, Dominican, Cuban, or otherwise, you can visit halfwheel.com.